Today's Mass is offered for souls in purgatory. We offer for the souls of Philip Lien Woon Choi and Judy Lee Po Ai, for Gerald Aloysius Perkins, for Joseph Hong Tian Yin, for Bridget Jawa, 29th Death Anniversary, for John Ao Yong Tek Yun and Anna Chu, for Paul Chan Po Chan, for Philip Chan Peng Hock, for Madeline Lo, for, G- for James Lo, offering special intentions for healing and recovery for my father, for peace and well-being for me, for special healing prayers for goddaughter Samantha Lo Hui Chen by Cora Lo, for protection for all the students starting school from COVID-19 from Carol Lim, special attention for the organizers and participants of Alpha Online Course by Carol, special attention for Andrew Yip and family, special attention for S. Rohini for change of job career by Francis, Special Intentions Healing for Francis Kwa Yo Peng by Angie. Special Intention and Thanksgiving for Bagi Bagamaspad and Family Prayers for Families in Melbourne, Australia. Special Intentions for Fong Wai Kwan to seek blessings in new job transfer to cope well with high volume of workflow accuracy with, God, with God's wisdom. Special Intentions for James Wong Jun Kien to be free from tribulation and seek more blessings. Special intentions for my father for to get well and healthy from FOC. Special intentions from for me for to receive a well thought decision that is from God's intention from FOC or Friends of Creation. Special intention for healing grace for Lynette Kaur by Eunice Ching. Offering thanksgiving by Agnes Chong and family. Offering thanksgiving for Mr. and Mrs. M. L. Wong by Carol Lim. Offering thanksgiving for first year anniversary of Chiropractic Center by Go Chen, Go Shen Li. Offering thanksgiving for blessing for Divina Hotus in CDM from FOC. <coughs> Offering thanksgiving and blessing for me and team for the daily live streaming masses. We also continue to offer up those who are struggling during this pandemic, all those who are finding difficulty to get a job or to sustain a job, all those who are finding difficulty to get food, those in the streets, domestic problems and various other issues and problems that people are facing during this time. Let us pray for them, offer them and, pr- and also pray for the grace that God will help them through our generosity. We also pray for our own personal intentions. See, I have God for my help. The Lord sustains my soul. I will sacrifice to you with willing heart and praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And And with with your spirit. spirit. My dear friends, Jesus loves us and he gives his whole self to us, a self-sacrifice that we may live in abundance. And so for times that we have not reciprocated to that love, for times that we have not abided and followed in that self-sacrifice for this and for all the sins that we have committed, let us be truly sorry for our sins, acknowledging them, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the image of the unseen God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the firstborn of all creation. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the head of the body, the church. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope faith and charity they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands 
to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Micah. Listen to what the Lord is saying. Stand up and let the case begin in the hearing of the mountains, and let the hills hear what you say. Listen, you mountains, to the Lord's accusation. Give ear, you foundations of the earth. For the Lord is accusing his people, pleading against Israel. My people, what have I done to you? How have I been a burden to you? Answer me. I brought you out of the land of Egypt. I rescued you from the house of slavery. I sent Moses to lead you. With Aaron and Miriam. With what gifts shall I come into the Lord's presence and bow down before God on high? Shall I come with holocausts, with calves one year old? Will he be pleased with ram by the thousand, with librations of oil in torrents? Must I give my firstborn for what I have done wrong, the fruit of my body for my own sin? What is good has been explained to you, man. This is what the Lord asks of you. Only this, to act justly, to love tenderly, and to walk humbly with your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will show God's salvation to the upright. I will show God's salvation to the upright. Summon before me my people who made covenant with me by sacrifice. The heavens proclaim his justice. You forgave the guilt of your people and covered all their sins. You averted all your rage. You calmed the heat of your anger. I will, I will show God's salvation to the upright. upright. Revive us now, God, our helper. Put an end to your grievance against us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will your anger never cease? I will show God's salvation to the upright. Will you not restore again our life, that your people may rejoice in you? Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. I will show God's salvation to the upright. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Harden not your hearts today, but listen to the voice of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. 
Glory to you, Lord. Some of the scribes and Pharisees spoke up. Master, they said, we should like to see a sign from you. Jesus replied, it is an evil and unfaithful generation that asks for a sign. The only sign it will be given is a sign of the prophet Jonah. For as Jonah was in the belly of the sea monster for three days and three nights, so will the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights. On Judgment Day, the man of Nineveh will stand up with this generation and condemn it. Because when Jonah preached, they repented. And there is something greater than Jonah here. On Judgment Day, the Queen of the South will rise up with this generation and condemn it. Because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. And so the relationship of the scribes and Pharisees with Jesus is unidirectional. They demand that he perform a sign if he wishes to be found worthy of their esteem. But they have closed their hearts to any possible openness toward him in advance. Pride makes impossible demands on others and will not be satisfied until these impossible demands are met. Thus, pride is never satisfied. It is the cause of division, resentment and bitterness in relationships. Rather than make demands on Christ, we need to make demands on ourselves. We need to make demands that we grow in humility, in selflessness and authentic love in imitation of the Lord. Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI teaches us about self-giving love in his encyclical letter Deus Caritas S. Commenting on the Song of Songs, he writes, The poems contained in this book were originally love songs, perhaps intended for a Jewish wedding feast and meant to exalt conjugal love. So in this context, it is highly instructive to note that in the course of the book, two different Hebrew words are used to indicate love. First, there is the word dodim, a plural from form suggesting a love that is still insecure, indeterminate and searching. And this comes to be replaced by the word ahaba. By contrast with an indeterminate searching love, this word expresses the experience of a love which involves a real discovery of the other, moving beyond the selfish character and prevailed earlier, that prevailed earlier. So love now becomes concern and care for the other. No longer is it self-seeking, a sinking in the intoxication of happiness. Instead, it seeks the good of the beloved. It becomes renunciation and it is ready and even willing for sacrifice. And so, my dear friends, Jesus tells us that the, at the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with the generation of people surrounding him and condemn it. The reason is that the contemporaries of Jonah repented at his preaching and true self-giving love begins with repentance. So when we repent, we acknowledge the person of God who is worthy of all our love. We feel remorse for having loved him so little or for having offended him who is all love. So love filled remorse implies a bending of our will affectionately toward the other. This is a form of self-giving love that we can all achieve at any moment of our lives. And so as we celebrate this Eucharist, let us grow with that self-giving generosity as Jesus has done for us to cultivate the habit of self-giving love within us for others. Let us present our love though it is weak and short-lived, but we present it to God that it may be purified 
and help us to rise above everything that we may grow in that love and tender mercy of Jesus, sharing that same love with one another, beginning with us and, and to grow to that love of one another. We pray for this grace during this Mass. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for the good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept we pray this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with us in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, we Saints Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As we pray the Lord's Prayer, we pray they may submit to the will of the Father, as we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus who loves us and sacrificed himself for us on the cross. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Lord, the gracious, the merciful, has made a memorial of his wonders. He gives food to those who fear him.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. We pray the prayer for all. God, God our, our merciful Lord, Father, Father, source, source of, of healing, healing, cast the, the light, light of health and well-being on those who have been exposed to coronavirus, those who have contracted the disease. Bless them, protect them, and bring them speedily to full recovery. God of wisdom, bless medical scientists and researchers around the world with insight and skill, dedication and fortitude, that their work yields knowledge and understanding, speedily finding of vaccine, treatments and deterrence to its spread. Source of life, grant public health and government officials the strength to act swiftly and decisively with compassion and understanding in service to humankind, fighting this outbreak, traveling the lives of our brothers and sisters, nations and communities, young and old. God of the present moment, bring hope and courage to all who wait or work in uncertainty. Bring hope that you will make them the equal of whatever lies ahead. We pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus, through the intercession of our blessed Mother Mary. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day. Same to you, well.